Hello everyone. Sorry I am late. Hello everyone. Sorry I'm late. Out in the country. Um, internet doesn't quite go so well. So um, I am Boots, camp director for Camp Wigiwagan. Camp Wigiwagan is a Girl Scouts of Central Illinois camp. And in the summer camp, or in the summertime, we primarily operate as a day camp. Now I know a day camp may not be an option this year, but the things that I'm going to talk about today can apply if you are going to go on an outdoor adventure. So some of our restrictions are getting lifted and we're able to get outside. So um, you may wanna go to a park or you may wanna go hiking or boating or swimming or you may wanna have an outdoor adventure in your own backyard. So um, some of the things I'm gonna talk about today can apply to that too. Um, so when preparing for your outdoor adventure, um, make sure you check the weather and decide what activity you're gonna do. And those two things will determine uh, what you're gonna wear and how you're gonna pack. And it's a good idea to go over what you're gonna do with your buddy. Check out the weather, talk about your activities, do some uh, brainstorming and um, make a checklist and then pack everything and mark things off your checklist. So as I mentioned, I'm the camp director for Camp Widgeewagon and sometimes I call Widgee, Camp Widgeewagon Widgee. Um, so if I say Widgee through this video, I'm meaning Camp Widgeewagon. So let's get started with what you're gonna wear. So if I was going to prepare for day camp, I would um, want to wear a t-shirt. So I've checked the weather. I know that it is sunny out and it's gonna be sunny all week in the mid 80s. So I'm gonna wear a t-shirt. And the reason I'm going to wear a t-shirt is because it protects my shoulders. If I wore spaghetti straps or a tank top, my shoulders are exposed. When the sun comes down, it comes and it lands right on your shoulders. So your shoulders are susceptible to sunburn. Wearing a t-shirt with cap sleeves covers your shoulders and prevents the, sun, the sunburn. I love this t-shirt. This is a t-shirt that uh, some camp counselors made for me at Camp Widgeewagon years ago. So there's lots of tie-dyeing at camp. So I hope there's some campers and some counselors out there looking today. I miss you guys, good to see you. So also another thing is i'm going to wear shorts so it's summer shorts are a perfect option for summer camp and maybe on some of your outdoor adventures now if you were going to go hiking on a rough terrain you may want to wear long pants or or jeans but for me summer camp uh, shorts is perfectly appropriate also i'm going to want to wear closed toed shoes so that can be tennis shoes or that can be a camp style shoe. Just make sure that it's a closed toe. You don't want to wear flip flops. Um, flip flops are reserved for the pool. You wouldn't want flip flops on your outdoor adventure hiking. That would be a little dangerous. So I have an example of a closed toe shoe here. This is one that um, I've had for years that I wear at camp. I like it because it's got a good sturdy, sturdy sole. It's got a nice cushioned footbed. It's got a closed toe. It's got mesh on it. It's made for the outdoors, but old tennis shoes will work fine too. What I like about this is I can take it boating, can go out boating, I can come in, I can get out, pull my canoe up to the shore and head over to the range and shoot some arrows in the same shoe. So I like this outdoor shoe. I do wanna mention that you don't need to go out and buy a whole new wardrobe of clothes for your outdoor adventure for summer camp. In fact, Old summer clothes or old um, play clothes, tennis shoes are perfectly fine for summer camp. You don't need a whole new wardrobe. So I mentioned um, sun protection. So talked about it on your shoulders, but also on your face. So your nose and your cheeks have the sun beating down on them too. And so they're very susceptible to sunburn and the skin on your face is very, very tender. So the damage that you do to your skin with sun, 
um, can have lasting effects. So we want to make sure we're taking care of our skin. So I have a couple options here of hats. So I have a Girl Scouts hat that I bought at the boutique. My little puppy chewed a hole in it, but it's still a good hat. So there's lots of these at the Girl Scout boutique if you want to check those out. So I have that. I have my Gilligan towel style, bucket style hat. I love this for in the summertime when I'm swimming. Um, I also have like a tennis style hat. I got this at a Girl Scout trading post at camp. So trading post is a camp store that you can buy things at camp. Uh, so why I like hats is you can see the shadow on my face. Um, it's protecting my nose and my cheeks from the sun. So when that sun's coming down, it's hitting the brim of my hat and not my eyes. So a hat is a good idea for summer camp or your outdoor adventure. So also I talked about protecting the skin, um, your skin, but you need to protect your eyes too from the sun. Believe it or not, the sun can damage your eyes. So never ever look directly at the sun. That's not a good thing to do. But if you're outside, you wanna protect your eyes. Here are some sunglasses that I also got at the Camp Trading Post. So it doesn't matter if this economical brand or an expensive name brand, they do the same thing, and that is protect your eyes. Uh, so that's a good idea to have um, sunglasses. So it may not always be sunny outside, so you can have a case to put your sunglasses in. That way when you put them in your bag, they're not gonna get crushed and get messed up in your bag so another good thing to have is a bandana this might be the most versatile item you can take with you so i can take this bandana and i can put it around my neck and it can help me cool be cool and protect me from the sun i can also use this as ooh, I can put my hair back with this, and when I'm at the campfire, I can make sure my hair is all away from my um, activities that I'm doing and that I'm safe at the campfire. can also use it to keep the sweat out of my eyes. If I'm hiking and I have a lunch, I can put this down on a rock, I can put my food on it, and I can eat my lunch and not get it dirty. I can use it as a napkin, use it as a washcloth or a towel. I can use it to carry things if I'm out hiking and I get into a mess of morel mushrooms that I want to take back home. I can use this to carry them. Um, it's good for first aid too. If I twisted my wrist, I could wrap this around my wrist and make a brace. I could use it as a tourniquet. I could use, use it as a simple bandage. I could use it as a sling around my neck and put my arm in it to stabilize my arm if I hurt my arm. So um, if you have a good idea about a um, use for a bandana, put it in some comments. I would love to hear how you used a bandana in your outdoor adventures. So another great thing to have to wear is a watch. So when you and your buddy go out to do your outdoor adventure, it's a good idea to tell somebody where you're gonna go, how long you're gonna be gone, when you're gonna be back. So a watch is a good idea to have. It's also good for in the summertime, it seems like the daylight is forever and you can lose track of time and before you know it, it's getting dark. So a watch is gonna tell you, even though it's very sunny and you've been in the sun all day, that it's getting late and you need to get back so people aren't worrying about you or you're not out after dark. So that's a good thing to have. So those are some good things to wear. Now this, what you wear all depends on your activity. So let's talk about what you're going to take on your outdoor adventure. So you're going to need something to put your supplies in. So I have a couple options here. This is a drawstring, a Girl Scout um, backpack that I got at the Girl Scout boutique. They have all kinds of these. They have pink ones and black ones and different logos on them. I really like this for day camp. Everything that I want to bring to day camp can fit in here, so that's a good option. Another type is like a book bag type, like you might have when you're taking your books or your tablet back and forth to school. It has several different pockets. It has little mesh 
pockets here on the side that are easy to get to, easy to access. If you're hiking, you can put your water bottle in there and it's easy access. Also, over here in this side is another mesh pocket. I might want to put my sunscreen or something in. Um, I like this because it's good and sturdy. Um, it's going to hold up well. It has padded straps. So when I'm wearing this, it really helps on shoulder fatigue. When I got it full of items, it really is a comfortable strap. The straps are also adjustable. So the more things I put on in it, that will depend on it. Um, the size I am, that will depend on where I put it. So this is a great one. This is probably the one I'm going to use today when I talk about all these items for our outdoor adventure. Another great thing about this is I can take my drawstring bag and I can put it right in my big bag with my supplies. So let's talk about some supplies that you're going to um, take on your outdoor adventure. So number one, before you even think about your supplies, you gotta think about a Sharpie marker. This is a must when you are taking your items to summer camp. There may be another camper that has a water bottle just like your water bottle and you don't wanna drink out of their water bottle. So writing your name on it will prevent that. Also, your item may end up in the lost and found. That way the camp staff know whose it is, you know whose it is, so you can go retrieve it. So a Sharpie marker is a good idea. So label, label, label everything. You can label the tags of your shirts. You can label your towels, label your water bottles. Everything needs a label, very least your initials. So depending on what outdoor adventure you're going on, you're gonna need a first aid kit. So I have made my own little first aid kit here. Inside here, there's a couple band-aids, there's some antiseptic wipes, there's some pain relievers, some antibiotic ointment, some bug, some bug relief if I get bit by a bug, a CPR mask, I even have a little toilet paper, you never know. So you can make your own or you can buy these. They are as little as you need or as advanced as you need. The type of first aid kit you need and what you need to take all depends on your adventure. If you are going um, out in your backyard for your outdoor adventure, a lot of your medical supplies are at your house. But if you're going to the park, this might be a nice one to have along. If you're going on a more advanced hike or an overnight, you're gonna wanna bring a lot more things. But for me, going to the park, that's perfectly fine. Now at day camp, we have a lot of staff that are first aid and CPR certified, and we have first aid equipment scattered all throughout camp. So there's one in access of every activity that you're going to be at, at the pool, um, at the lodge, at the trash shack, there's gonna be a first aid kit. So that's something to think about when you go on your outdoor adventure. Another thing, who these days does not go anywhere without hand sanitizer? Um, on your outdoor adventure, you may not have access to soap and water and you need to stay clean and healthy, so sanitizer is a must. I mentioned our skin and our eye protection from the sun. Chapstick's a great idea, also from Windburn too. So chapstick, there's also SPF chapstick too. Chapstick's a good idea. So let's talk more about uh, sun protection. So you're going to want a good sunscreen. Let's see what we got here. So I have a sunscreen here, let's see, I am new at this, bear with me. So I like this sunscreen, look I've even got it labeled, labeled with my name. I like this sunscreen for um, summer activities because it's a sport activity. That means it's going to hold up well, basically pretty well, when you're sweating and swimming. So a sport sunscreen is a good idea. Also you want to go with a high SPF. This one is a SPF 50. There's SPF 30s, there's, there's even more than this. So you want the highest SPF. The higher the SPF, the better um, sun protection you're gonna have. I also like um, spray sunscreen. See if you can hear this. So a lot of your sunscreens come with a little on-off no nozzle. A lot of people don't know that, but you twist it on and you twist it off. Twist it on to spray it, twist it off to put it in your backpack, and then that way when it's tumbling around in your backpack, it doesn't out, go off accidentally and get things sunscreen all over. 
So like I said, I like the spray sunscreen. So when you're spraying sunscreen on you, I like to spray and then I like to rub, rub, rub. Because if you're just spraying, you might miss some skin. So go ahead and rub it all in. And that way you're getting all of your exposed skin covered. So, and repeat this, you know, every hour. Re re reapply sunscreen throughout the day. Also, you never go anywhere without a buddy. You never go anywhere without a buddy at camp. And you should never go on an outdoor adventure without a buddy. So, you can't get to your back. Have your buddy spray your back or any part that you can't get to and rub it in for you. And you do the same thing for your buddy. And that way you can help out each other. Also, you want to protect your skin now you, of your face. Now you don't want to spray this directly on your face and you definitely want to keep your eyes closed but you can put this on your fingers and you can rub on your cheeks you can rub on your nose you can rub it around you got to be careful above your eyes even though it does say it's sports and sweat proof i don't think any of them are 100 percent sun proof or sweat proof so be careful around your eyes um, they also make a face sunscreen that is specifically for your face for your delicate skin on your face so these are some great options and they are a must at day camp and on your outdoor adventure. Another thing is bug spray. So there are bugs at camp um, and there will be bugs on your outdoor adventure. There'll be creepy crawly bugs. There'll be bugs that, that um, fly. So bugs are everywhere. Nobody's a real big fan of bugs. So I recommend bug spray. Now there's several different types of bug sprays with several different types of ingredients. Um, and the experts all have varied opinions on ingredients such as DEET. Um, so even the experts don't agree on how good certain ingredients are for the environment and for you. You can do your own research on it. There's plenty of information out there. So there are some with DEET, some that are more natural. I like the little tiny natural bug spray that you can usually get at the farm stores. I'm a big fan of that. You can also make your own bug spray. You can use some essential oils and different things. So if you have a good formula for a bug spray, um, let me know. I would love to hear your ideas and I bet our campers would too. So if I was gonna go out on a hike, I would take my bug spray. I would use this one, it's pretty powerful. If I was gonna go out in the deep woods or the grass, I would spray it on my feet. I would spray it on my pant legs. I would spray it all over my clothes. I could even spray it on my hat, put my hat on. Um, that way it keeps the bugs from getting on your clothes and then getting on you. And the bugs can kind of smell it, the flying around bugs, and they won't want to get on you. So again, label these. So you decide which one is best for you. Another thing uh, during your outdoor adventure or at camp, you need to stay hydrated. I have several different options of water bottles. It's a big one here. It's a little water bottle here. I even have a canteen. So what I like about these water bottles is that they are refillable. So one thing about Girl Scouts is uh, we're really proud that we use resources wisely. And we try to eliminate our use of disposable water, or not disposable, yeah, disposable water bottles, water bottles that you drink once and throw away. We really tried to eliminate that as much as possible. So there's several options here. Here's a canteen. It's old style. It's been around for years, but it's still an oldie but a goodie. I like it because it has a strap. You can throw it over your arms and you can hike with it. So that's a good option. Um, this is a nice one. It has a pop top on it and keep you hydrated. This one I like because it has a really wide mouth. I can get um, ice in here, but also I can pull the lid off and I don't ever touch the rim. It goes lips or lid and nothing else, so that's nice. I probably drink four to six of these a day at summer camp, so it's important to stay hydrated. Now you wanna fill these with water. You really don't want a sugary drink or soda or something like that. Water is your best option. Your body's made mostly of water, believe it or not, and it loses water in the summer in activities and it craves water. So water is your best option. Now you can get like an electrolyte packet and put it in your first aid kit. And if you're feeling like a little queasy or you need a little pep, you can certainly sprinkle that into your water. But water is your best option. So um, throughout day camp, there's water stations too. So if you're at the challenge course, there's gonna be a water station there. 
Um, at the pool, there are water stations. So believe it or not, people forget to hydrate when they are in the water or at the pool. And you think about it, you're in the pool, you're swimming around, there's lots of activities, you're losing a lot of your water, um, but the sun's breaking down on you and it's real reflective in the water. So remember to take a water break at the pool. Your counselors at day camp have that built into their schedule and they will ask everybody to get out their water bottle, they'll hold their water bottle up and they'll make sure everybody has a water bottle and they will tell everybody to take a drink. Sometimes you're having so much fun, you forget to drink water at camp. So, good option to have. So, if you're going to day camp, you may need to bring a lunch. It depends on what day camp you go to. So, when you sign up, you'll find out about that and your camp director will send you a confirmation um, to let you know if you need a lunch or not. So, on your outdoor adventure, you may or may not need a lunch. So. Um, just take that in mind on your outdoor adventure. You may be doing some outdoor cooking So you may not need to bring a lunch. You're gonna cook your own, but that's another video So in my lunch sack, which is nice and insulated and it's got lots of room in it. I have a Uncrustable this is a peanut butter and jelly. You can certainly make your own peanut butter and jelly. I also have a juice box So this is hundred percent juice it um, will give me some energy. It is a treat at lunch. It's definitely not something that I'm going to use to hydrate throughout the day as I know water is the best option. I also have several different granola bars and protein bars in here. Protein bars and granola bars are a great way to give you a, bo a boost of protein and some sustainable energy um, that's gonna get you through a big outdoor adventure or day camp. So a lot of that stuff there doesn't need to stay super cold, but you may want to, well, you definitely need a ice pack in the summertime to keep your stuff nice and cool and keep it safe to eat. So an ice pack's a good idea. I always bring extra water with me. So in my lunch sack, I have my water bottle with my name on it. So that is a great thing to have. And this all will fit in my big, huge backpack that I'm gonna take. So at several different day camps. Um, there's pools, and if there's not a pool, you may go on a field trip. So, and on your outdoor adventure, you may be swimming, so you're gonna need a swimsuit. At Girl Scout camp, you use, you wear one piece or tankini swimsuits. So I have my swimsuit here. I have my one piece, and I have it labeled with my name. So when I am going swimming, and I've swim, and I'm done, I am going to put my swimsuit that is wet that I have taken off in a bag with my name on it. So when I do this, it keeps everything else in my backpack dry because it's in my bag. Now, if you go on your outdoor adventure and you go swimming and you put this back in your bag, remember when you get back home to take it out because it's gonna get mildewy and musty the next time you wanna use it. So when you get home, put it in the hamper, the dirty clothes, wash it out if you hand wash, and then dry it and then put it away for the next time. Now for day camp, you're gonna go back to day camp the next day. When you come home at night, you're gonna go back the next day. So you need to take it out, hang it up, wash it, whatever you need to do, dry it, put it back in your bag. Don't forget to put your stuff back in your bag. I always tell campers, if you are old enough to do, go to day camp, you are old enough to take care of your belongings. That's at camp and at home. So help your parents and your family members and your friends that are helping you get to camp, help them help you get ready for camp. Um, pack your bag, have that checklist, pack it, practice packing it. Check off your checklist. Every time you put something in your, your bag, check it off your checklist. And then on the, deck, the morning when you are ready to go to day camp and your parents are rushing around to get you ready and they're getting ready to go to work, you will have eliminated a lot of stress and you will be very confident because you have everything you need in your bag. So practice packing and mark off your checklist. So if we have a swimsuit, we're gonna need a towel, right? We go, we go boating at camp and different things. We have water balloon fights. So it's a good idea to have your towel this is my summer camp towel, it's so cute. It's got flip flops and sunglasses on it. I also have a bag to put my wet towel on. Towels have little tags that you can write your name on or you can write it 
on, on the towel, directly on the towel with the Sharpie. Same thing with the towel. When you get done with your outdoor adventure, put it in the dirty clothes or hang it back up to dry. If you're at an overnight and you've used your towel, hang your towel up to dry so you'll have it the next day. At day camp, um, you go home at night, get your towel out of your bag, hang it up, or put it in the dirty clothes and replace it. Just remember to put it back in your bag and check off your list so you're ready to go the next day and you have your towel. So even though it is summertime, you could get caught in a pop-up shower. So as long as it's not thundering or lightning, you can play outside, and we do that at summer camp too. This, believe it or not, is a little foldable poncho. I got this at the camp trading post. You can get them at farm stores or department stores. When this thing unfolds, comes out of this little pouch, it covers my body all the way down to my knees, even my head. It folds up really nice. You can put your name on it, and it throws, it can go easily in your backpack and takes up hardly any space. So, good thing to have. So I know that day camp, you may not need a flashlight, but I always like to be prepared. Even on your outdoor adventure, it may be getting a little late when you get back, so it's nice to have a flashlight. I love these headband flashlights, so they're hands-free, so if you're cooking and you are putting everything together in your Dutch oven, if you're looking at your Dutch oven, your light's on it too. If you're hiking everywhere you look, your light is on what you're doing, so that's pretty handy and safe or just a little simple flashlight is a good idea to have. So believe it or not, cards, lanyard, friendship string, Sharpie markers, and uh, paper are good things to have to pack in your backpack for day camp or on your outdoor adventure for something to do. So at day camp, there is a before care where campers are coming to camp for, a couple, for an hour and so during that before care, you're going to hang out and play at, play cards and we have sports equipment and crafts and you're just gonna sing and talk to your, your fellow campers. But cards seem to be a really popular um, activity to do at camp. So they are good for before care and after care when camp is over and you're waiting for your parents to pick you up. There's after care where you're doing these activities too. And the cards at camp, they may be missing a three or an ace. If you have your own cards, you can take care of them and make sure they're all intact. So cards are a big, big thing at before and after care. Also lanyard strings. You can see a camper with a little lanyard about this big on Monday and then this big on Wednesday and by Friday it's this big. And uh, we usually have lots of lanyard strings and chip strings, but we may not have the color you want or as a big as piece as you want because we only allow you to cut off a lanyard the size of your your arm so that we can have plenty for our sister girl scouts so that's just some things to put in your backpack so um, that's basically what you would need for day camp or for your your outdoor adventure for a day now Depending on your adventure, you may want, if you're going fishing, you're going to want some fishing supplies. If you're going boating, you're definitely going to want some personal protective gear. Just depends on what you're doing. Swimming, you may want your goggles, different things like that. So really let your activity be your guide. And like I say, brainstorm and come up with that checklist. Um, so there are going to be more videos like this. We're going to do more Facebook Lives next Friday, catnip from our Camp Kiwanis camp. She's the camp director there, and she is going to do a demonstration on outdoor cooking. And there's gonna be lots of more videos, so that tune in for that next Friday, um, Facebook Live for that. There's also gonna be more outdoor adventure videos coming up, so, so stay tuned for that. Check out our website. We do a lot of updates on our website and our Facebook. We try to keep you guys informed of everything that's going on so if you want to know i hope this works out i think it automatically reverses that so if you want to know more about girl scouts what's going on with girl scouts and get an update you can go to our website getyourgirlpower.org and there there's all things girl scouts not necessarily camp just things that are going on in the council if you want to learn more about camp, you can go to the ticker and 
click on camp and then click on summer camp and it gives you all the information about all the different camps in our areas and what's going on there so that's a good idea to have so know that so i might put it in the comments later if it's backwards i apologize i am not good at this okay so also i want to give you my contact information so i am lisa boots wall and that's my contact information there. So if you have, um, if you just want to chat about camp or if you would like for me maybe to visit a troop meeting or something like that, I would be happy to talk to you. Just shoot me an email. Um, so um, that is all I have today. I am so new at this. Let me put on my glasses. Check at the chats. Okay. We've got lots of chats here. And I apologize, I may have to do this offline. Like I say, I am very new at this, but I promise I will get to you. So, in the meantime, you guys say safe and take care of each other and check back in and look for more videos from Girl Scouts. I hope to see you guys soon this summer.